and it's a great honor to be here with you guys celebrating this great day. Uh, we want to celebrate a little bit with our breakfast on the playground campaign that we've started here at Cesar Chavez. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you who have participated in our new grab and go uh, breakfast cart. So a couple months ago, we started working with Marcus Alonzo, who is a nutrition services director for the, the Coachella Valley School District. And we've worked with them before, um, but really he had this project and he, he was looking for some support. And so basically what the project is, you know, kids always have the option to come in during breakfast and get free breakfast every single morning. Um, you know, parents, you can just come and drop your kids off. It's always going to be available. But what, what he was noticing is that sometimes kids would, you know, walk right past the cafeteria and straight to the playground because that's where their friends are. Um, they wanted to play a little bit before class started. So he had a thought, well, why don't we bring breakfast to them? Grab and go or Desayuno Cre Campeones has been a, a great compañía for us. Uh, with all the uh, students participating uh, in the program has been really great for us and we're excited to continue this program uh, throughout the rest of the year. I can give you numbers uh, for Saul Martinez and Cesar Chavez, which were our first two piloted programs here in the district. Uh, we went from serving you know, around 29% of the student population at breakfast to about 50%. So it's been a good um, campaign for us. Uh, students are really uh, gravitating to the cart and uh, enjoying the, the breakfast out in the playground. It's been a wonderful campaign. It has helped our students um, have that option of making great nutritional decisions over their breakfast. We had many students who would come to school hungry and many times they would rather play. Even though they were hungry, they'd rather play versus going into the cafeteria due to the long lines. We do have about 900 kids, um, but having that option, they could still go and choose something, grab and go, and then have that opportunity to still play and have that relationship and socialize with their friends. We all have the best interests um, in mind for, for the kids, for kids to just have a better, um, diets and for them to just have again something in their stomach before the school starts and just for them to start thinking about nutrition and why why is nutrition important why is eating this apple why is it going to be good for me or why should I care about drinking this milk in the morning um, just for them to start thinking about those things we could see changes in kids eating habits. Families didn't even know many of them that it was free you know, you just have to come in, the kids just have to show up. You know, it's better if they show up a little earlier, you know, right at 7.45 to get that, that breakfast. But at any time, when they walk in that door, if they're hungry, we feed them. So it's really important, it's something that their families didn't realize it was there. But now that they know, I think they, like I said, it has gone up. We've, we're feeding about 50% of our students now. We weren't there yet at the beginning of the year. So due to this, we have a lot more participation. And kids aren't hungry, and they're ready to learn when they walk in that door.